I want you to tell me the very first thing that you notice. I notice a rock. Rock. How big is the rock? Big. And what's your position towards the rock? How far are you to the rock? I am lying down. I'm like in a cave. Lying down in a cave. Yes. Is this daytime or nighttime? It's daytime. And how do you feel lying down here in the cave? I'm sick. Tell me more about your sickness. I'm sick in, in like the lower area of my body. Lower area. Like, How do you yes. feel with this sick body? It's a, it's a sharp pain. Sharp pain. Are you there by yourself? Yes. Yes. Are you male or female? I'm female. Do you live in the cave by yourself or are you sharing the cave with others? Right now I'm alone. Do you have family member? I did, but they're gone. How old do you sense of your age? Twenties. What do people call you? Um, a mother. Can you say that again? Amada. Amada. Thank you, Amada. As you observe the scene, live the life, whether as you are watching a movie or you are in the story, I want you to know that either way is perfect. This is the way that you receive information and you're doing really, really well. I want you to know as you observe the scene or experience the life as a mother, it's important for you to watch. And that's good. And collect as much information as possible. And so now, Amada, and take five deep breaths, allow the scene to fade away. And all this physical discomfort will go away with the exhale. And on the count of five, drift to another important time of your life, to a childhood, if you like. Or another important time of a mother's life. Or perhaps a different life if you wish, if it's appropriate for your knowing. So five. Drift and float. Four. To a different time. Three. An important event. Two. You're floating there now. One. Be there, in first impression, what's happening. She died. How did she die? She bled to death. Are you outside of her body now? 
Yeah. And how do you feel? Relief. Did you stay? No. Where did you go? I'm going floating up. Which direction? Up. Up? Yeah. As you floating up. And now whatever happened to Amada has already happened. And if you look back at the entire life of Amada's, each life has a purpose, has a lesson. And what's the purpose of Amada's life? She tried to conceive a child and she couldn't. And then what happened? She's too sick. We appreciate the story. What's the lesson? As you now has departed the body, reviewing the life from a very high or a different perspective. As an energetic being, form of a light, or maybe nobody at all, and you reviewing a mother's life, what the soul came to this body for? To learn to let go. Let go of what? Of, of wanting. Wanting what? Wanting to conceive a child. So letting go of the desire to have a child. Yeah. And how did she do? She didn't do good. I'm curious, is this the first time the soul came to learn this lesson? Yes. Good. Now as you drift and float above, do you float by yourself or do you sense a sense of support? I'm alone. And how do you feel alone here floating up? Good. If I to look up on you at a screen, what would I see? Joy. Would I see a shape or color at all? Light. What color? White. Does your light have a shape? No, it's just... It's just... Um, just like a ray. Like a ray of light. A ray of light. Wonderful. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't have a shape. As you float up, can you describe the surrounding environment for me? It's white. Pure white? And what's your relationship with this white, pure light? It's 
it's it's my protection. Your protection. Yes. Good. Does this protection have a name? It's all knowing. Knowing. All knowing. Good. All knowing. So as you continue to float, does the environment change? Yes. Tell me more about it. What's changed? It's getting dark. Can you describe it for me? It's dark like I'm in the space. Mm hmm. And what's there in this space? Nothing. Is there any light at all? No. And how do you feel in this space of darkness? I'm okay. It's, I'm going somewhere. Okay. You continuously just float by yourself? Or is there any support? Yeah. Okay. Where are you going? There's nobody. I'm going back. So you turned around? No, I'm going back to where I need to be. Okay. How do you go? Just, just think about it and just go. Okay. Let me know when you are there. You're doing wonderfully well. Okay. Tell me about it. I see a planet like Mars. And what does the planet look like? Can you describe there's not much it for life. me? It's, there's not much life. Not much life. It's like rocks and rocky. Yes. It's reddish. Mm hmm. There's not much. And are you still the same array of the light or have you changed your presence? I'm more like um like a um I don't have a shape, I'm just an awareness. Awareness. Good. Awareness. And how do you feel about this planet that's quite a rocky that does not have much life here. There's must be something there. Something there. Yeah, there's something. Would you like to explore? Yeah. Go ahead. On account of five. Go to that something that you're curious about, that you wish to explore. As you are now enter your super soul mind, enter that infinite knowingness, that infinite powerful intelligence will guide you, permit you, connect you to all the information that you're supposed to know, that you need to know for five. And just allow the knowing to come through four. Explore your spiritual voyage. Three. Absorb. Two. And collect all that you need to know. One. Be there. Be there now. And first impression. What's happening? It's this big rock, but it's actually kind of like a, a dome kind of building. So what's the relationship between the rock and the dome? It's, it's part of the dome. It's kind of built up on the rock. Ah, Before I see. So the dome support. is inside of the rock. Yeah, part of it. 
Okay. And what this place is for? It's kind of like a lamp. A lamp. Lab. 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 Okay. And what's the lab for? For us. For humans. For what purpose? It's for, for a revolution. Can you tell me more about it? Are there any yeah. people, beings here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Describe it for me. Yeah. I'm there. And what's your role there? I am part of, of, the, of the team. What's the team look like? It's just different people and tri um, they're just different humans. How many of them? I say about 15 or 30. And what's your job? I have a white coat on, sort of. It's not white, it's kind of silverish because it's a protector. Protecting from so, what? For getting in contact with the outside and other stuff that you do in the lab. Not to harm us. It's so, just. What stuff would be harm you? I don't know. It's just what we wear. And do you have a name there? Yeah. What do they call you? They call me Larna. 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 L A R N A. Larna. L A R N A. Good. Yeah. Larna. And how do you feel being a member of this team? I feel good. So the team is doing some experiment? They are there. They are there to... I don't know how to explain it. They are there to make to make this planet better for us. How? How to do they test, do that? To test. What are they testing? They test the land. Land? Yeah, the, the rocks in the soil. And they test in the people. What are they testing people about? They making sure that they, they can stay there. It's safe to stay there. Stay in the rock or stay on earth? Stay on this rock. Also, oh, they test the people who are working there. Yeah. I see. Do you have a team yeah. leader? Like someone who's like a boss? This is the human term, if that's understandable for you. Lana? It's, um, it's more like we all lead. But there is somebody that it's more but they're not around. Is that a male or a female? The boss. Yes. It's a man. A male. Yeah. And what is his name? Banu. Banu. Yeah. Good.
B A N U. Thank you, Lana. You're doing really well. This incredible information will help my friend to understand her mission here. And how long have you been working on this project? A while. And how long is this a while relevant to human time? Twenty some years. And I wonder, Lana, are you able to help my friend Magdalena answer some of her questions? Maybe. Thank you. You can ask me. Sure. Her first question is: Is Octavius her family? Yes. And what is her mission to be on Earth or taking this body as Magdalena? What she has to learn. What specifically does she need to learn? She has to evolve because we we need people like her to evolve so we can evolve as a so we can evolve. In what way that she needs to evolve? To learn experiences. And what this experience is about? We we need her. For what reason? Because that's how we survive. Can you tell me about it? You need her to survive. We need to survive through her. So the Octurian needs to survive through her. Yes. And what is the reason? Can you explain a little bit more about it? She has to learn. What just experience? So、um, we can all learn. So all this human experience of suffering is part of how Arcturian survive. No. Can you tell me more about this? She has to learn. What does she need to learn? Experiences. What kind of experience? Just life experiences. But life experience can be, can be joyful one, can be less traumatic. So what's the reason that she's given or she's choosing such a tough life? See, not on the earth. It's. It's joyful. Does my friend understand that? Probably not. Can you explain in the way that、um, Magdalena understands, and so that the body can assist the Arcturian's mission better, more clear? Actorians are not doing this to her. Does she need any support to allow this to happen? Yes. From what or from whom she will receive the support? She needs to ask her guide. You mean Ari? Yes. 
And how would Ari provide the information? Is that through thought, emotions, sensations, or through other people? Through other people. Yes. What do you mean through other people? Sending people to help her. Ah,、oh, so you will, she will be able to connect to the right people in the next few years. Yeah. I see. Thank you. We appreciate that. But she needs to trust more. Trust. She needs trust. Yeah. Are you able to assist to instill or plant some trust in her body? Yes. Please do so. And let me know when you do this, planting the seeds of trust in her. Does my friend experience anything at all? Yeah. What sensation? What's happening to her body? I'm working on her heart. How do you do that? Putting love into her heart. And what does she feel when you do that? She feels warm and trust. Good. Let me know when you finish. Okay. Thank you. Why did her daughter Madeline came here on Earth? So she can be with her. She can be with Magdalena. Yes. What's their soul relationship? She's my best friend. I see. And what's her soul name? She's not ready right now. If they are best friends in the spiritual world, but why in this realm in the physical body? They aren't as close as Magdalena wishes. She has her own journey. And what lesson does she present to Magdalena? Love. Can you explain more about that? Yes. Go ahead. Love. It's. Then no matter what. Love will conquer all fear. And how does this apply to Magdalena? Teach her to love. Teach her daughter. And herself. So she needs to teach herself what love. And teach、yes. Madeline what's love, and so、yes. love would conquer the fear of losing her physically in、yes. a way. 
Yes. Is this an extension of the lesson that Amanda received, letting go of having a child? Yes. And can you explain to me why a human, why the soul came to learn this lesson, letting go of this human desire? A human's given. Because... Go on. Because we all come here to love. How would a mother without a child learn about the love? It's human nature to wanting to be married, to have children, to receive love from their family members. Yes. And when this is gone, in Magdalena's case, the mom never really truly loved her, not physically. And what does she need to know to move forward? That she gets bored a lot, and if they love her, that she might not experience. She might not experience the same life. The, the same life. So, what this life actually serves? To love. Learning to love. Yes. And to love others, or to love herself, yes. or both. To love herself and to love others. How does she do? She's doing really good. And did you play? Her on my path, or did you play me on her path? Both. What are our soul relationships? We've been together many life. As what? I just part of the same soul group, same lessons. Same soul groups. Yes. I see. Same Macturians. Okay. She knows. Every time she sees one, she knows. I see. And what's Veronica's role in her life? To teach her many lessons. What is the major one? Love and acceptance. Accepting whom? Everyone, including herself. Does she understand? I don't think she does. Does Magdalena understand? No. What does she need to know in order to understand this love and acceptance? To be more authentic. How can she do that? By being herself. Well, she's constantly being told, being advised for things that she does not need. How could she be herself? She can tell. Tell what? Tell others nicely. Does she know how to do that? No. Can you teach her? Yes. Can you do that right now? Yes. Go ahead, and then let me know how you do that. Tell others no 
in a nicer form. Yes. How do you teach her to do that? Her throat chakra. I see. What do you do with her throat chakra? It has some holes in it. Some holes? Yes. And what do you do to those holes? I fill them with light. Good. But when you do that, what does Magdalena feel? The truth. She can tell the truth. Good. Let me know when it's done. Okay. Would Veronica find her own peace in this life? Yes. When would that be? In the next five years. And that will stop her hurting my friend and uh, their family? Yes. Thank you. And what can Magdalena do to stop Veronica continuously hurting her? Tell her the truth nicely. Does she know how to do that now? Yes, she does. Thank you. You're welcome. And is Veronica Arcturian? Yes. Have they shared past lives before? Yeah. And why an Arcturian would choose a life that is less aware? Because that is how you show love. Can you explain that? We need contrast in order to love. And she decided. Veronica? Or Magdalena, or Lana. All of them. They decided to take on these different roles. Yes. And so that they can all learn their lessons. Yes. So what's Veronica here to learn? Love. And what part? What part? Yes, love have this joy, this acceptance, this hatred, this letting go, forgiveness. They're all different part, different aspects. In your language, the Nala, you understand the love as a whole, but humans, we sort of need to be more specific so that Magdalena when she listens back to the recording, she knows what exactly she needs to be aware and heal and move forward. To practice fear. Practice so fear. She practiced too much fear. If you practice so much fear, it becomes difficult to raise to the level of love. What is the reason a soul, a person, practices fear? Like I stated before, it's for us to learn, to love. To learn how to love. Yes. 
Does Magdalene understand this clearly? Now she does. She does now? Yeah. Good. Wonderful. Is this the first time the soul learns this lesson? No. And where was this originated? In different lives. And what was the emotion that she was receiving or experiencing? Fear. What else? And love. I kind of cannot have one without the other. I see. Fear and the love. Yeah. Negative and positive. And how is she doing in this life? Good. Really good. Wonderful. Who is Sir Richard Dung? They were together in many life. And is he from the same soul group? Yes. Is he Arcturian? Yes. Is there anything else that my friend needs to know about the Dang? Yeah, they were married before. Married in a different life? Yes. What else? Tell her. Is there anything else that she needs to know about Dang? She does. She doesn't remember. She does not remember that. No. That they'll have many life. They will continue to share more lives together. Yes. Yes. That's wonderful. What about Claudia? And what's her role? She's her guide. What is her specific responsibility towards Lana? help her soul evolve in the most loving way. Is there any other guide physically exist in this room to her? Apart from yeah, Claudia? Me. Yes. Who's that? Dennis. Dennis is the guide. Yeah. He's Arcturian. And is Claudia Arcturian? Yes. And what's Dennis's role? To support her for her evolution. She has learned the most when when he entered her life.
she had learned the most. When when Danny sent her her light, she learned the most. And did they share the past life before? Yes. Is there anything else that Magdalena needs to know about Claudia and Denise? She is loved and supported. She's loved and supported. Claudia tells her all the time. Claudia tells her all the time. Yes. Does she understand that now? Yes, now. Good. Magdalena has been doing a lot of inner work. However, it wasn't working, but got worse. And why is that? Different energies. Can you explain? On art, there's different energies. Different energies? More formal energies. Foreign energy? Formal. Formal. Energy. Yeah, so the past energy is a different kind. Yeah. Um, those different kind energy that did not work for for her. Why is that? It's not her fault. It's not helping her. And why no, that? Why that was placed there? to add more difficulties on her journey. Because earth has different energies. Earth. And they demand different things. Where does that energy come from? From contrast, from fear. How would a person grow more love out of fear if the person is in the fear energy? We have to choose love. Has Magdalena chosen love? Yes. Did that happen today? Yes. Wonderful. I'm curious, what's going to happen to her next after today's experience, returning home, meeting her higher self? She's going to trust more. When they trust She's more, gonna... what would happen? She's going to tell the truth. How would she tell the truth? With kindness. With kindness. What else? I mean, would this be through certain profession, the work she would involve? What is the mechanism, a physical tool that she's going to tell the truth? She 
she's she's gonna tell the truth because love is the truth. Can you explain or elaborate a little bit more? Love is the truth. We activated her heart, so now she'll be able to navigate much easier. We appreciate that. For an ordinary person, possibly our audience, what does that mean to them? Are you able to break down the message that love is the truth, so the audience understand? We are happy to teach love. But humans have to choose it. How do you teach love? By being kind and accepting. Kind and acceptance. Yes. If a person who's being abused, how how would you tell this person to let go? We would tell it to love more. In what format? Open your heart. Stay in your heart. Open heart. Stay in your heart. Yes. Open heart. Stay in your heart. Can you explain? Where fear come from? Doubt. What else? I'm not trusting. Not trusting. Yeah. Anything else that we need to know about fear? Is the contrast from love? And this is to facilitate the understanding about love. Yes, I see. I wonder with this acquiring gift. And what would this lead on her professional path? Evolution. Can you explain a little bit more? Because she has been working all different kind of a job. What career? What job is she going to do next? We will send her a team. You will send a team. Yes. How many of them? Five. And to do what? To help her. And all these five people will appear in the next five years. Yeah. 
Does she trust this? Yeah. Wonderful, Lana. Are you still in the dorm in that rock in that lab? Yeah. If you step out of the dorm, can you tell me what you see? Yeah. What does it look like? Space, deep space. And so this rock, this dorm is independent on its own, hanging in the sky? Many light years. Are there any other similar dorms nearby? No. When you are not working in the lab, what do you do? I go and teach. What do you teach? Love. Who do you teach? To other planets. Do you have a name for those planets? All the planets. Older? All of them. All of them? Yeah. All of these planets are within a specific system? Within solar system or different system? Not the solar system. Not your solar system. Not a solar system. What system would that be? All of the system. So apart from the solar system? Yeah. And how do you teach? Do you have tools? Awareness. How do you spread your awareness? By becoming love. By becoming love. Yes. How do you becoming love? Being authentic. When you are teaching love to other planets, do you have a physical form? Not always. So sometimes you do? Yeah. When you do, what do you look like? Once I was a mermaid. And what else? I can even be a rock. What else? A human. How long have you been on Earth? How many lives? 154. And this is 154th? Yes. How many lives are you going to live more on Earth? Probably 98. 98? And did you choose to be an Arcturian? No. W what was before you were Arcturian? Light. How long have you been an Arcturian? In human years? Yes. It's more like 
20. 20 human years. Yes. Yeah. I'm assuming that's quite new. Yes. What about Apple? Oh, she has been there 400. We appreciate the information. And what else do you do apart from teaching love? Do you have a place you read, you study, or you play, you relax? I incarnate in different planets. Do you incarnate at the same time? Yes. So you would have a different bodies on different planets? Yes. At the same time? Mm-hmm. So right now you have a part of your energies on Earth. So where else are you at at the moment, apart from being Nana? Anywhere. Animal. Anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. So how much percentage of the energy that you brought to Magdalena's body to facilitate your learning and experiencing a human life? Let's say the soul energy is 100%. What's the percentage of energy did you bring it over? 60. 60. Mm. So the Earth's life, you brought quite a large proportion of the energy. Yes. Why is that? Because it's much more dense. It's a challenge. Yeah. And how much energy does Lana carry? She's, she's on a different energy source. A different kind? Yeah. I see. So being Lana, where else do you go? In some... In some spaceship. Spaceship. Can you tell me about the spaceship? What does it look like? That's where the Arcturians are. How many are they? Thousands. Thousands. Yes. And how many ships are there? It's only one big ship. Different levels. And where does this ship park? Anywhere they want. Anywhere. Because it's not like the linear time. I see. And can you tell me about the life on this ship? That is the young and the more advanced. And those are the one that there are not at a frequency to have kids. How old is the oldest actuaries in human years, in human term? Probably 400. And then where do we go next? We just become light. You mean we go back to the source? Yeah. So we came over to a lower dimension. Once we complete our tasks, then we go back to source again. 
That's correct. I see. Thank you. I wonder if the spiritual guides can come over and say hello. Oh, exactly. How many are there for Magdalena? She has three. Who are they? She has Ari. Ari. Mm -hmm. And Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Who else? And Buddha. And what's Ari's job? provide support and love to her. And when Ari appeared in her meditation, is that what Ari is trying to do? Yes. So Magdalene understand the appearance of Ari's now? Yes. Good. And what's Jesus there to do for her? Love her. And does Jesus come through during her meditation? Sometime. Just love her. Yes. Anything else? What would you like to know? What does Jesus teach her? Love. We all teach love. And so is Buddha? Yes. When is the connection built with Buddha? She has a past life. As? As, as being a little Buddha. A little Buddha? Yes. Can you explain that the little Buddha is that a, a monk, a nun, a, a Buddhist, or a statute Buddha? A monk. When was that? In her prior life. What year in history, roughly? Seven hundred. In which part of the world? Asia. So did she serve Christianity? Yeah. When was that? Probably in Jesus' time. In Jesus' time? Yeah. And what did she do? She did many things. In relation to Christian? Yeah. What was one specific role that she served? Acceptance and love. Wonderful. Now of these three guys, can they all come or one of them? If it's appropriate, 
can come over and assist the body of Magdalena to heal the trauma and move forward. In total love and acceptance. Yes. yes. Good. Please do so. And let me know when you work on the body, when you perform a full body scan from the top of the head all the way to the tip of the toes. Now, if you identify any nuance, any discomfort within my friend's body, please go ahead and let me know. Plant the seeds of love and acceptance to my friend, my sister, my family member, Lana and Magdalena. Help her to experience pure unconditional love. In the name of Jesus, Buddha and Ari. Spread the love all over her body. In all organs, repair them. Release all the trauma that no longer serves her. Let her know that she is more than this body, that she is love. And she is here to learn love, how to love, how to accept herself. And how to trust more. As you work on the body, the healing happens subtly, but profoundly. Transform, my friend, to a new being. Let her feel love, unconditional love, strong, powerful, will protect her all along her journey. Help her to remember who she is. Feel the joy, the freedom, bliss as a light being, as an actuarine. Feel it. Absorb in an unconditional love. Feel all the light and the love bathe you, envelop you. And just stay there in this unconditional love, pure acceptance. Cleanse each chakra, strengthening her spiritual connection with Lana, with Ari, with Jesus and Buddha. Receive openly as much as you can. Know you are unlimited. Know this is your truth. Okay, it's done. Good. How does the body experience now or feel right now?
it's all cleansed out. And what would my friend feel after she wakes up? She feels happy and joy. Happy and joy. Yeah. Wonderful. Is there any other space that you would like to explore in your spiritual journey? Uh, here there is a place called library or university or meeting your soul group or your council or do you feel that uh, you are happy with today's outcome? I think we're good. You're good? Yeah. Wonderful. And just take your time, continue to absorb with that divine love acceptance filled with trust unwavering trust in yourself in lana in ari in jesus and the buddha now i want all the personalities of magdalena to once again fully return to the body including the consciousness to fully integrate back to the body completely. And now all the consciousness and the personality of Magdalena is once again fully returned to the body, replacing all the other parts that we were speaking to. And now I want Magdalena to move up, 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 forward through time and the space and orient yourself back into this present day and time. And this is 16th of November, your time in the evening. You're lying there on your bed and you just had a very interesting experience. And in a moment, I'm going to count you back from 1 to 10. By the moment I count number 10, you'll be fully awake, widely awake, feeling wonderful all over, as though you've had a nice nap, a nice sleep. You feel truly rested and wonderful. And any time you do this with me, it's always going to be an enjoyable experience. So follow me. Up as we go. One. You're beginning to breathe a little faster, a little normal. Two. Your blood is beginning to circulate a little faster as you begin to wake up now. Three. You begin to aware of this physical body. Notice your back supported. And feel your arms and the legs. Four. Feeling your fingers and the toes. And that's right. We are now getting the body to move again. And you are now much aware of this physical body. Five. You can aware of the sound, the light around you in your physical room. The pillows support you. Six. You're much aware of your physical surroundings now and feel your eye cover and that's right as you begin to wake up now seven you're coming up now very nicely eight eight very nicely nine feeling your eyes sparkling crystal clear ten go ahead go ahead Allow yourself to become fully awake, widely awake, and feeling wonderful all over. Feeling wonderful all over. Wow. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Oh my God. I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm always good. How did I do? 
<laughs> you did it perfectly well. It's perfect. Do you remember everything that you said? It was kind of like I was asleep, but I was kind of on a side. I don't know how to explain it. On a side. Like I was there, but not there. Kind of. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And do you know how long? Do you think how long you went? I don't know, like an hour. You went for two hours. Wow. And that was that was a very good, a very actual, very succinct session. Your past life was short, and then quickly we moved to the spiritual world, and you just, you just, you just are very giving your higher self, Lana. So that's your higher self name. Very giving. Everything answered beautifully, and we sort of even、yeah. expanded a little bit as、uh, as I go along with the question. Everything that you asked、uh, has been answered. Do you remember some of the answer? Yeah. You remember all of them? Some of them, not all of them, but some. Okay. And how do you feel right now? I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. From one、I'm、to ten, how good do you feel? Ten being the really,、happy. really good. Happy. 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 Mhm. Wonderful.、Yeah. Wonderful.